So you finally bagged yourself that big buck, got it home, and processed the meat out? We're here to help you figure out what to do with the rest of it. Thanks for joining us. So last time we skinned and stripped all the meat and started the boiling process on this skull for my European mount on my 12 point. I stopped the last video where I broke off this no section because I dropped it on the ground. Luckily I found the pieces so if I want to save it and glue it back on I can. But I don't really, I don't hate this look. It's not a story about a skull. Usually people are more worried about the rack and the rack still looks great. So all we have left to do is strip the last little bits of hair off. Give it a little brush to get the extra connective tissue off and then we got a fresh pot of water and we're going to add a cup of salt and a bunch of detergent to it. So we got ourselves a fresh pot of water. We're going to go ahead and add a cup of salt, lower the boiling point and add a little abrasiveness to the water. We're also going to add a bunch of dish soap to cut through the last little bit of fat and oil on that deer skull. Now you heat it up. We're gonna let that get to a boil, reduce the temperature while we uh, pluck the last little bit of hair and tissue off the skull. The last little bits of meat and stuff in the back end here are really hard. They're the hardest to get to. I just kind of try and slice lines through them like a turkey, and then you know, come off and carve the pieces off and flick them away. It's just, you know, here's the bone. You're just trying to flick all the rest of that off. There's a lot of it, but it, it doesn't take as long as you'd think, you know, probably an hour of just sitting here picking at it. We'll get 90% of it off. Then you'll boil it and see what you got left. Got to get in all these little cavities. Just get the tip of your blade right down in there. Try not to crack any bone. If you hear any bone going, stop. Back out. Oh, and there you go with that. You know she's, you know she's hot enough. Got to turn her down, relight the fire. I just rest our buddy in there. It's harder to do clamps than it was to do wire. The couple times I've done wire, but I really want the clamps to work since it's a bigger rack. I think it's just about balancing it. Okay, there we go. We're just going to get this fired back up. Turn it down a bunch because... One, I don't want the flames scorching up the side and killing my rack. And two, it was clearly too hot. You don't want it boiling. You just want it simmering. And that dish soap and that salt is going to help scrub all the fat away get you a much cleaner final product. So we're going to let that boil for about another hour. And then we'll show you what we got. Tell you what we're going to do. See, we just got... Uh, so we're trying to not have happen. The more it overflows, the more it sets you back. So you want to just... Real low heat. Hey! And try and keep your dog from eating the parts of deer that hit the ground. Or don't. I don't know how you... I don't know how you live your dog live your life. I'm going to turn it down even more just to simmer see that's what we're looking for right there a nice light simmer some steam a few bubbles not a rolling boil we're gonna let that go for an hour render the rest of the fat off make sure the antlers stay out of it don't forget every once in a while you're gonna to want to go around and make sure you can touch every part of the antler even the stuff right by the steam if it's too hot 
you know, for your hand, it's too hot for the antler and you're going to want to move it. But everything feels real good. Not scorching the antlers at all. We can let it go for an hour. Just watch it. He's been boiling away now for about an hour. Make sure you get all the water out of it before you move it over yourself. You don't want to burn yourself, but it's looking pretty great. Teeth didn't fall out. Cavities are getting cleaned out. It's got little flecks of stuff. Before we rinse it, just gonna take your brush and go through. And all the rest of that almost just brushes right off. Anything that's tough, you just take the tip of your knife and give it a little touch and then brushes right away. And there you go. We have some options when we're finishing this. We can either just leave it out in the sun and it'll bleach itself, but that'll take the antlers with it. Or we can go back through and brush hydrogen peroxide or bleach on this, but then we'll want to rinse it so the bone doesn't get brittle. There are also some commercial products on the market. And I've heard a lot of people, a lot of professionals will just go ahead and spray paint this and then clear coat it. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with mine yet. I'm just going to leave it till winter's over. You know, all the, everything that can spoil is out of this. I'm just going to leave it in a high and dry place till winter's over and then build a nice plaque for it. Maybe we'll do an episode about that. But if you like this one, you know, give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe down in the lower corner. Even if you didn't, you know, support us, whatever. Going to show you a lot more of what to do with your deer, you know, cooking, that kind of thing from now on. Finally, finally done processing. We can finally get to cooking. Hope everyone enjoyed. This has been MI Adventure Life. Feel the table. Thanks, guys.